Hi, and welcome to the new Google Sites, Part 4, Insert from your Drive or Docs. My name is Lisa Nowakowski, and you can find me on Twitter at Noah Techie. Today we'll be looking at how to insert items from our Google Drive. So over on our right side, we have this big list, our menu. The second box down here is Google Drive. So I can either upload items from my drive or I can upload an entire folder. The other neat thing is the fourth box has Google Docs. So if I know what format my item is in, be it a doc, a slide, sheet, etc., I can go directly here. So I'm going to choose from my drive. So when I click on it, it brings me here and I have a choice from my drive, items that are shared with me, recent, and starred items. No matter what the items are, we need to make sure that the viewing rights are open for everyone. So I see that I have all of these. If I don't see ones that I want, I can just go to recent, and these are all of the recent items that I've been looking at. I like that image because it's going to go about under the about me. It says I have one item selected, I can select more items if I choose. So I might select a bio. So along the bottom here, you see it's blue, and I select insert. And it automatically inserts the items for me. Now I don't like the actual setup of this. So what I can do is I can take my picture here, and I can bring it up. And you'll notice it adjusts it and resizes it for me. I can't see everything here, so maybe I want to, once I click on it, I get these dots. So this allows me to adjust, and you'll notice that there's grid lines here, or lines, that allow me to adjust it to where I'd like it to go. So here on my image, I have a few options. I have my crop, uncrop, I can link it, I can trash it, and the three dots allow me to replace the image or add alternative text. So in order to crop, I click on that, I can zoom in, and you'll see I can adjust to where I want it to go. And when I like it, I select the check mark. I can make this image smaller just by dragging a dot. I can uncrop it if I want to, again link it. So to have alternative text, I would just type it in, select apply, so if I know I have a slide that I'd like to select, I go ahead down to my Google Docs and click on Slides. This opens up all the slides that are available. I can either do a search in the search bar here, and I can also do a sort, so I can either sort by grid, which it's on now, or by list. So I like this slide, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. Again, I can select More, and then I'm going to select Insert, and it inserts it for me. Just like we had before, I have the ability to select a background so I can keep it white. I can do the gray emphasis like I did with the title. I can put a blue emphasis here or I can select an image to go behind it. So now if I just want the slide to be this section alone, I can click on it and move it and you'll notice that the, gray, the blue excuse me, moves along the lines so that I can figure out exactly where I want it to go. Once I get to where it's equal on both sides, the spacing is equal on both sides, I can let go and it automatically puts it there for me, allowing me to make a beautiful, clean looking site. So as you can see, there are a lot of options and Google has made it very easy to make a beautiful website. Happy creating!